Howdy. Welcome back to Underwater Math. My name is Farmer Willie and this is my pig named Petunia that is going to help us today. Hello everyone. Today we're in the apple orchard and we'll be measuring volume as we make some recipes. Liquid volume is the amount of liquid in a container. You can measure liquid volume using the metric unit liter and milliliter. A water bottle holds about 1 liter. If you were to collect 20 raindrops, that would equal 1 milliliter. A teaspoon can hold about 5 milliliters. You can also use the customary measurement unit cups. You may remember these from cooking with your family. We have one cup, half a cup or one half of a cup, and a quarter cup or one fourth of one cup. Here is the amount of water we need to mix with the crushed apples to make a jug of cider. We can see that the unit of measurement is liters. There are 10 liters and 10 tick marks, so each tick mark represents one liter. To measure, you look at where the level of the liquid ends and lines up with a number on the side, like measuring with a ruler. If we were to draw a line to help us, we would see that it lines up with the number 8. We need 8 liters of water to make one jug of cider. Let's see how many milliliters of water we need to make apple sauce. There are two containers here. The unit of measurement is milliliters. Each tick mark represents 1 milliliter and it has every 5 milliliters numbered. We can see that there are 15 milliliters in the first container. Although the second container doesn't have the tick marks numbered, the scale is still the same. Each tick mark also represents 1 milliliter. Let's count by 5s and 1s to find the amount of water in it. 5, 10, 11, 12. The second container has 12 milliliters in it. Now for the measuring cup. There are two containers again, but this time each tick mark represents one fourth of a cup. If there's one and one half cups of water in the first container, how much water is in the second? We could count by one fourths to find our answer or we can compare the amount of water to container one and its scale. It lines up perfectly with one cup. There's one cup of water in this container. Let's make an apple pie. Great idea. We hope you had fun measuring volume with us today. Keep practicing.